What's up you guys? Welcome back to Fleeky Friday. I'm your host Monique and today we are inside the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, one of my favorite hotels, visiting Stitched, a boutique gentleman's clothing store that is home to some of the coolest custom suits. They will get you ready for your next event, whether it's the NFL Draft, the Grammys, everything in between. And best part about it, my best friend in the entire world works here. Let's go say hi. Guys, this is literally my BFF in the entire world. I'm so excited. Finally getting our oh, day together. So much. Hello. Sam, this is Monique. Nice to meet hey, you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. This is gorgeous. I have so many questions, but I gotta say, as soon as I walked in, it stitched is absolutely incredible. The details, the the leather, the front, the ceiling, the clothes, it's amazing. And how did it all get Thank started? You. What was the idea behind it? Yeah, it's a uh, it's an unusual story. Our founder and president, Eamon Springall, uh, owns a big insurance firm, an insurance brokerage, and he was insuring the construction of the Cosmopolitan uh -huh. and became friends with the president of Cosmo at the time. And during the course of their business and friendship, John Unwin asked uh -huh. Eamon, uh, what should we do for our men's store? And Eamon started painting the picture of what would become Stitched. Wow. And after some back and forth, John Unwin convinced Eamon to build it. After after a number of refusals, the, there was a deal that he couldn't refuse. And we so we opened with the resort, and that was 2010, 12 years ago. You guys opened with the resort? Yeah. Wow, it's so unique too, because I feel like there's not a lot of boutiques in Vegas in general, but especially a gentleman's boutique. The quality, everything is amazing. The intention here is a centuries old haberdashery plucked out from Savile Row, London and dropped into the middle of this bright, shiny new resort. Mm -hmm. We wanted it to look like Cosmo was built around us. Yeah. Uh, and so that includes stained cement floors, yeah. real distressed brick. This is not a facade. These are real distressed brick. Um, tufted leather chandeliers and couches. Uh, That's a chandelier? Yeah, it is. And there's a deliberate juxtaposition uh -huh. between the outside with the the chandelier bar right out front and yeah. just bright, shiny everything. Then you walk in here and it's kind of a warm, warm yeah. dark colors, more masculine. Uh, and so we really wanted it to have, be this transformative type of experience when you enter. I love it. I love the the ceiling, the matte black loft kind of exposed look when yeah. the lights are super cool. Thank you. Oh my God, I love it. I think the most special part of Stitched is how much we empower our people mm -hmm. to sprint and Girl. make mistakes mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and try things that don't work or that do. We empower people to really build their own book of business mm -hmm. and grow in their career as stylists. Who are some of the celebrities that have gotten suited by Stitched? Plenty, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, it, there's been a ton of athletes. I, I think that uh, top athletes just of the last week um, have been Darren Waller of the Raiders and Bryce Harper, who's mm -hmm. uh, a two-time Major League Baseball MVP. From Vegas, too. Uh, from Vegas. Locker right behind yeah, him. Yeah, locker Gatorade. <laughs> um, um, Drake London, that was really cool because he wanted us to do something different where we cut up his USC college jersey and put it on the inside lining. That's so cool. Uh, so that was kind of a challenge that we liked. Yeah. We, we like challenges. We, yeah. we encourage gentlemen to dream out loud and let us bring those to that. clothing. And every now and then, somebody's creative enough to push us. And um, Drake was one of those. Actually, uh, we're, we're working with another LA college store, the star, the quarterback mm -hmm. of UCLA, DTR. Um, he's really pushed our boundaries too with, with the wow. suit that he wanted. Um, so that'll be, we'll be debuting that soon. So what is your story? How did you get um, into Stitch? So I was a buyer elsewhere and I was writing for Las Vegas Weekly on the side. Wow. And so I broke the story of Stitched opening. Uh, it was a really interesting story. Vegas, for the most part, is an importer of culture, uh -huh. where we'll have a Tom Ford store and several Gucci and Louis Vuitton stores. It's rarer for culture to be born and exported. Mm -hmm. And so a homegrown men's clothing store at the Cosmopolitan, which was the hottest resort in the world, yeah. was a really interesting story. So I became friends with Eamon and would later, uh, in 2012, become the buyer. Uh, that was 10 years ago. And when you met Eamon right off the bat, did you guys hit it off? Yeah, we were fast friends. I mean, here I was writing a really cool story about his baby. Yeah. Uh, and so I think it was hard for him, for us not to connect. Yeah. Uh, but we really connected on a deeper level too. Um, 
that I thought he was a really impressive entrepreneur. He, uh -huh. he could tell that I had um, some uh, a different business analytics side than, um, you know, that, that would have, was a value add for, for the team at the time. Yeah. And uh, originally I came on to consult with kind of the denim casual side. Uh -huh. And I kind of recognized that the suit market was going toward a sport coat and mm -hmm. denim look. Um, and so originally I came on as a consultant to help with that narrow focus. Uh -huh. um, but within a, a season, I was the full-time buyer. About a year ago, uh, Eamon uh, offered me an opportunity to come on as an owner. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. and, and that's where I am now. That's yeah. amazing. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And when you're buying or when you were buying, what did you look for? What was like something that, because I feel like there's so many options. So how did you decide? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question. It, I think that uh, in the end, it's this marketing empathy skill set mm -hmm. about being able to project what the customers are going to like. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in some ways, it's what they want now. In some ways, it's about leading them to what they're going to want next. Wow. Um, but the biggest trap is buying stuff that you think is cool without enough emphasis on, but is the customer going to buy it? Wow. Um, and so that's that empathy projecting what other people are going to like. You kind of have on one hand brand leaders mm -hmm. that you look for to see what's coming in six months. You know, we'll often, um, we have brands constantly pitching us on future seasons. Oh. So that's one really important source of data. Mm -hmm. um, another is press and the, the GQs and Vogue's of the world. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a really important source of buying inspiration. And the third is the celebrity yeah. turned influencer um, culture in which you have a whole new um, real time source of what people are wearing and what people are going. Uh, yeah. crazy for on the internet. So those are kind of the three main uh, data points for buying would be influential brands, influential press, and influential individuals, yeah. celebrities and influencers. There's so much to think about because I feel like I'm that kind of person that always buys the statement item and then I have nothing to wear it with. So it's <laughs> cool that you have to think about, well, I love this, but is the consumer going to buy it? Yeah. And then a really big part of it is uh, the team-oriented mentality. And so we'll go out to the fashion shows and mm -hmm. harvest a ton of uh, fabric swatches, for example, and then we'll come lay them all out on the table and we'll bring our stylists back to help identify what they think the winners are. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of ways, you know, I get to do a lot of the harvesting and I get to do a lot of the deals, mm -hmm. uh, but our team of stylists are, are top of market and really help influence the buys. It's actually one of the most special parts about working here yeah. is that the organization is so flat that uh, anyone who shows a proficiency or uh, a passion um, can really influence the direction of the company in that way. So the stylists who are interested in buying are part of the buying um, wow. process. Wow. So I think that's a, a, and on one hand, we, the, the buying team gets a lot of value from that. Mm -hmm. And I think so do the stylists because they really get to help um, develop the merchandising strategy. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a really unique part about, uh, about this company. How is the women's suiting uh, coming into play? So is that a thing right now? Yeah. I mean, there's a market inefficiency right now. Mm -hmm. There's a gap in the market. You have women wanting to wear power suits. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> And uh, the kind of traditional women's retail isn't really rising to the occasion. So women who wear suits aren't having a great experience and want more and want something like this for them. Mm -hmm. And so we've really been pushing our um, supply chain and, and our own internal training uh, to really be able to fill that need uh, and we're getting pretty good at it. That's incredible and I feel like too when you walk in there are so many different blazers I would just buy a men's blazer and wear it oversized. That's the thing you know we really scored with our location there's just not a view like this in retail period yeah. let alone men's specialty stores. Yeah. You know, overlooking the strip is really quite exceptional. It's gorgeous. Um, we have our our tailor shop they're the best on the strip they've been oh. with us since the beginning third generation master tailors wow. and it's really cool to have uh, to be able to see your clothing being worked on. It's almost like watching your food being made in an open air kitchen. Wow. Uh, this is our version of it. Uh, and our guys that. really are the best. You'll commonly see bags of Gucci and Hermes back there, um, men's wow. and women's tailoring. They really are the best. And you can come in here even if you have something else to tailor, right? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do a lot of a lot of that stuff for our friends up and down the strip. There's so uh, many little details, like the paintings, and like I see the, the wrap pack is somewhere over there. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, we've become one of the biggest denim stores on the West Coast. Wow. Uh, we're like Page Denim, we're one of their top three specialty stores. 
Um, and the truth is the suit market's evolved and m men want to wear jeans with their sport coats. Yeah. Uh, so we've really risen to that occasion. Before this, I was like a freelance stylist and I met um, the one of the partners, Sam, mm -hmm. over the years and just kind of fell into my lap of coming here and I learned custom when I started working yeah. here and just have kind of, yeah, I don't know, just run with it. These are all of our custom swatches. We have probably about eight different fabric mills that we work with and they each have thousands of fabrics inside the book. So we have an insane amount of options. Um, I'm just gonna grab some fun stuff that I like to kind of just show you. How do you decide like which ones to, to grab? I feel like there's so many options. It really depends on what the client wants. So if yeah. they want something a little more conservative, I'll go towards that. If they want solids, if they want, these ones are easy for men especially because mm -hmm. they have like photos in them of people wearing them. It gives you a better like visual of how it's gonna look on you. A lot of people have a hard time looking at a swatch and then imagining it as a That'd be suit. me, yeah. Yeah, so we have kind of picture books for the right people and then we have the swatches with the fun colors and like if you wanted something formal or conservative or loud, it kind of just gives us an idea of what to grab. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and so I grabbed some of my favorites. I love can... yours. I love the hot pink one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I pick the loud stuff because I can. Same, I love anything loud. Yeah, and so like these have oh like my a God. lot of fun <gasps> colors. That's what and, I want. Yeah, this is like the book I got mine out of. Um, Megan got like a light blue one from here. Wait, I love this one. Yeah, I'm making someone, a, a woman actually, like an overcoat out of that. So it'll I, be pretty, pretty fun. I feel like that on the inside is snakeskin will be cute too. Yeah, I mean, and, your snake oh, and I'll grab some cool. linings too that we can kind of look at. And this one kind of showcases a variety of like these ones, which are really crazy. You know, we can do like our louder tuxedo jackets, wow. some pinstripes. Some just like fun patterns, yeah, cool texture. Yeah, I have decision making issues, so I feel like this is gonna it be is, really hard. It is, it's for crazy. Me. And then, like I was saying, this one has pictures, so it showcases this and this. Wow. So you get an idea. Okay, that I like that. Yeah, and like that's something you probably wouldn't think about putting together, but yeah. when you see it all together, it really helps. So you can custom order pants too. And mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, so not everything has to be a full suit or just a jacket, you can kind of work with both. And as trends change, is it hard to keep up with things? Well, the truth is men's trends move a lot slower and really? suiting okay. trends move even slower. Okay. So for well, example, we've been seeing this burgundy color trend kind of bubbling and rising for five years. Mm -hmm. And then every now and then you'll see something green start becoming a popular color that never really gains mass market traction. Uh -huh. um, those are kind of, I, I call those buyer traps yeah. because it's, we think it's so cool and new and interesting and yeah. fresh. And so we'll buy some and it's like, well, a couple of them sold, yeah. you know? And, and so there's, there's that constant um, process of refining what we like versus what sells. Um, actually, green has started picking up. We've started selling our olive suits pretty well. Yeah. I love green. I would buy an olive suit. I feel like that's yeah. my thing. And did Stitch start with clothing inside the store or was it just custom suits? There were some ready to wear, um, but it was a a fairly uh, light offering compared to when you walk through the store now. But we learned pretty quickly that gentlemen wanted, in Vegas particularly, at yeah. Cosmo, yeah. Uh, wanted something to wear tonight to the yeah. restaurant or nightclub or, or lounge. So we started using our custom resources to develop our own ready-to-wear collection. Oh, that's cool. And that's a really unique position in the market because it lets us respond really quickly to trends. Yeah. So if we are inspired by the NBA draft or the Oscars and, and we think that baby pink suits are gonna be the hot new thing, we can go from concept to sales floor in yeah. six weeks, sometimes wow. sometimes less, uh, in a way that kind of Zara and H&M popularized mm -hmm. the speed to market trend. And we're one of the only ones doing it on the high end luxury men's suiting mm -hmm. uh, and, and increasingly women's suiting too. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen in a lining? Um, Same question. <laughs> we've done nude photos of like clients' wives. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, <laughs> We can get as crazy as you want. So like it's never say no, like you guys can. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. We we are yes men over here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, if we're crazy. more like ask for forgiveness. So yeah. like they didn't love that we did that, but we yeah. did it. Yeah. So <laughs> and like well, the, the husband was excited. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Did she like her suit? 
Or he like he loved it, yeah. and he like shows it off to everyone, and it's so funny. I've like seen his wife naked, so she when, when she comes in, I'm like, hey, <laughs> I've seen too much. Yeah. Wait, that's so funny. Oh my yeah. god, I actually really like these two together too. Yeah, you can have fun with it, and then you get to do everything. You get to pick yeah. your lapels, you get to pick your buttons. Can you do those pockets. different colors, the lapels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do satin if you wanted. You could do. Um, a different color completely. We actually just made one for a guy where it's like his whole jacket is cream and then his lapels are baby blue. So the world is your oyster. What's the craziest suit you've ever made? Not just the lining. I mean, that's a pretty crazy one. Yeah. Like the fact that he has a blue lapel with a cream suit, that, so that's pretty crazy. That's awesome. But I mean, stuff like this we do yeah. often. So like loud stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know actually off the top of my head what the craziest. I'm sure you probably so mine. Many. Probably this neon pink suit that I'm in. I love right it. Now, no, I would actually. wear that fully. I love all yeah, of these. Yeah, this is probably top ten. <laughs> so then, like once you pick, so let's say I like chose this one and the pink flower one. Mm -hmm. Where I go? I really like this one. Yeah. And then from then on, I decide what I want for the lapel. Yeah, it's styling. We pick um, lapels, buttons, pockets. Um, little details like pick stitching, which is like this little okay. stitch we have here. You get to pick how your pants are. And then we'll kind of go over fit when we do measuring, but back here is mostly just design. This is a peak lapel, so you get to pick like, do you like something like that? We like it because it's just a little different. Yeah. And you don't really find too many women's off the rack suits yeah. that have peak lapels. It'll be kind of a little more traditional boring yeah. if you will. No, it looks so good. Notch I love lapel. It. So when you're in custom you might as well do the fun features. For men, Tom Ford kind of did the peak lapel. So yeah. it's a little bit more fashion forward if you will. Um, and then what did you say that was called? The little That's a lapel hole, but pick okay. stitching is this like subtle thing here and like oh, that's okay. the hardest I wanna say the hardest thing to do in the factory is the pick stitching. So that person is like the most skilled. And you can make this any color too? The yeah. yeah, 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 you can. Actually, the person that did that um, mm -hmm. color that you like is doing a red. So it's like you can get That's as crazy so as cute. you want. Yeah. Oh my God, I need one. Yeah, and so like it has Aww. her name in here. She picked her lining. These are piped pockets. Uh -huh. I have flaps on mine. Mine's also double-breasted, so it has obviously a lot more buttons. And then we did a one button for her. It That's looks so a little cute. more feminine. I love that. Yeah, and then we did a, a cuffed pant. Um, so you can decide cuff or no cuff. You could do a skirt if you wanted. Do you have lining on your pants? Like when it you cuff lines, it up? No. They typically, well, yeah, I guess probably, yeah. yeah. But typically a pant is only lined to like the knee. So like around here is how far a pant lining goes. Cause it's like, I actually don't know why, Yeah, but that's how that's, it's done. Yeah, I'm not really <laughs> sure actually. Don't, don't ask me the hard questions. So this is Megan's suit, um, my yeah. best friend. And we did a so little watch cute. pocket too. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that's another custom feature. Back in the day it was for um, pocket watches, but now it's just for looks. And yeah. what are the, the different tiers of suits that you can get? Um, our custom suiting starts at $14.95 and that's like what it is for women's. And then it goes up to $18.95 in like our black label. We have a red label and a black label. And then, um, I mean, it could be like, you can do a $7,000 suit yeah. if you wanted. So yeah. it really just depends. But Starting at $14.95. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I see Rock Nation, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, we uh, work with them on the athlete side, actually. Nick Kwiatkowski signed by Rock Nation. That's you know? how, yeah, 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 that's I right, that's him. right. Because he comes, he comes here. Yeah, he, awesome. he does. We work with Uche, who's, uh, a an agent on the football side. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, we haven't had Jay Z in here yet, but we actually did have Beyonce opening weekend. We had some alterations for her dress. Really? So we haven't so made cool. her anything, but yeah. we still got to got to help her out a little bit. Wow, Beyonce! Um, so many. Yeah. This was the Bryce Harper one with Gatorade. Wow. That was Megatron. That's so. But cool. But then we also have a lot of our partners and friends yeah. and neighbors. Beam Centauri is a big uh, liquor supplier. We do a lot of business with them. Um, the Raiders have a locker. The Golden Knights have a locker. That's so cool. Uh, and then we also have a bunch of souvenirs here. Uh, yeah, I see. There's like so many little things that are so cool. Yeah, Caleb Plant gave us these after he uh -huh. uh, won a title. He's been a good customer and friend. Uh, we have some Louboutins that were eaten by the escalator, escalator out front. <laughs> Our friend was leaving STK and got stuck and we kept him for display for the story. That is so funny. I love uh, that. It's honestly the first thing I noticed. So. Yeah. 
We have some uh, signed baseballs. We have some fancy old, uh, you know, 24 year old whiskey. Um, Sincoro, that's Michael Jordan's tequila. It's oh, blowing that's cool. up. Have you tried it? Is it good? Yeah, I really like it. McAllen's my dad's favorite. He always talks about McAllen. Yeah. Any He's photos of you guy. up here? Uh, yeah, somewhere. I think there's one there with me and uh, Tim Brown Aww. and uh, Joe Theismann. I love Tim yeah. Brown. He's so awesome. Yeah, we did a good, some, we did some cool stuff with them. Tim Brown was my first Raiders interview ever, so it was. He's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Actually, funny enough, I interviewed him back in the day too. Really? Yeah. For Las Vegas Weekly? Uh huh. I don't think he would remember. We have our um, um, stylist and management team here. Hello. <laughs> Did you already get the the pink ladies? Oh. Have yeah. you guys been featured yet or no? Having the debate of pink or purple. It's That's purple. That one. It's lilac. purple. Yeah, it's lilac. It's like a bubblegum lilac. I feel like it's I'm lavender. Like, oh. that's, like that's pink. That's cool. And that's lavender. No, if you put lavender next to it, it's pink. Is it? Yeah, like, I feel like next to you. And Shauna even got the pink memo yeah, too. Shauna got the pink memo. And then we actually are matching. You guys are coordinating. You know, we're uh, mix matched over here. Plan. Dave Grohl okay. is a, a good client who's become a good friend of the of the store. Um, you know, Nirvana. Foo Fighters from Am. Wow. Um, Ludacris comes in to do like him. to do uh, award show ensembles. Mm -hmm. I think we've done probably three or four things for him. Um, we did Morgan Wallen recently. Okay. He's a, a big, uh, the biggest star in country music, I think. Uh, and we right before Morgan Wallen, we did Snoop Dogg, and I think that really captures the breadth of our of how what a diverse offering custom clothing allows for us. Mm -hmm. We can dress a country star and the same week wow. a hip hop star dog. and they just you just don't get much different in terms of their aesthetic yeah uh, so so we're really proud to really be be able to play on both sides of, or on, on all sides of the uh, sensibility spectrum in terms of the best part of working here is I have a, a passion for both the creative and the analytical and there aren't a lot of career paths to let you um, on one hand in the same hour be analyzing yeah, creating analyzing spreadsheets and uh, a moment later be utilizing that data to make creative decisions like what jeans are we gonna buy? Yeah. So, so we may do it, we may run, a, run some analytics that show um, really high sell throughs and low inventory in denim and then we have to switch from the data analytics hat to the creative hat and decide, now we've identified we need more denim, what are we gonna buy? And yeah. so it's this balancing act uh, and overlapping between the creative and the analytical that for me personally is the most gratifying, fulfilling. On, on one hand, we're uh, really nurturing and want people to have the resources they need to succeed and grow, and are, we'll put them in positions to do that. And retail is a really high turnover category traditionally, and we have people who, two of us have been here 10 years, we have people who've been here six years, and, and we're really proud of how, of how long people like want to be here. Wow, incredible. Stitch is a great place to shop and to work. So thank you so much for having us. I appreciate you. And if you haven't checked it out, come to either the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas or Tivoli to check out Stitch Las Vegas. Thank you.